we are going to talk about the kingdom map. Number one, every governor will start in the sixth starting zone. Number two, barbarians. There are many barbarians in the kingdom. In the first zone, there are going to be lower level barbarians and the barbarians will increase their level as you are progressing with your monument. Defeating barbarians will give you potential rewards and also you can participate in some of the events where you can get even greater rewards. Now, defeating these barbarians will also grant you an experience point. So don't forget to level up your commanders if you want to be strong in Rise of Kingdoms. Now for barbarian forts, it's going to be the exact same thing as the barbarians. Now. In the starting zone, you will have lower level barbarian forts and once you are progressing towards into the middle or in, into the next stages of the map, you will now then see higher level of barbarian forts scattered all over the kingdom. Defeating the barbarian forts will also grant you potential rewards. You can also participate in events where you have to defeat barbarian forts and get even greater rewards and also represent your alliance to get extra rewards. Number two, resources. As you progress into the kingdom, the resources nodes are going to be higher level. In the beginning, you will have smaller nodes, meaning smaller resource reserves. Farming these resources will tremendously help your city to grow. And also by farming resources, there are going to be certain events where you can gain extra rewards just by farming these resource nodes. So make sure to participate in resource gathering because it's going to help your city and also you're going to gain extra rewards. There are plenty of events where you can maximize your defeating of barbarians and gathering of resources. Number four, holy sites. Now, the holy sites that you are going to be seeing in the starting zone, they are going to be the altars and sanctums. Now, these holy sites will open up based on your monument progression. As you move towards the center, the second zone, there will be a shrine as a holy site. And as you move towards the middle, or the last zone, you will be seeing the Lost Temple. Capturing these holy sites will give your alliance buff. Number five, passes. Now, in order for you to move towards the next zone, you need to capture the passes. In the beginning, you will be restricted from moving out of the first zone. The passes in the kingdom will open up as you progress with your monument progression. Remember, there are many great things to do within the kingdom. Gather resources, defeat barbarians, defeat barbarian forts, capture the holy sites, and capture the lost temple to begin your journey into the lost kingdom. As you are going to battle other kingdoms, unification within the kingdom is a must.